Hello, hello, everyone. So let's start our Monday session. So as usual, let's give ourselves a stretch first. Stretching the arms. Ooh, and, and anything else that you feel like stretching. And then when you feel good, allow yourself to find a comfortable position on your seat. And first, let's just close our eyes and, and become aware of the space that we take in space and the weight that we have on this earth. So feeling the weight of your of your body on your seat and feeling the weight of your feet on the ground, having that moment of connection with the earth, this intention of grounding. And once you feel the energy coming back at you from the floor, from the ground, from the earth, then move your attention and focus all the way up from your feet into your chest. And in your chest, I'm going to invite you to tune into your heart. Maybe you want to place your hand over your heart or maybe just pay extra attention to the feeling of your heart in your chest or even the sound of your heart in your chest. Once you have it, once you're feeling it or hearing it, just imagine as if your breath is flowing in and out directly through your heart. And then slowly but surely start to harmonize and balance your breathing so that your in-breath and your out-breath are about the same length. Now, the ideal for most of us is about five seconds on the in-breath and five seconds on the out-breath. But if you need to go a little faster or a little slower, it works too. So make sure it's comfortable for you. So we'll do this for another minute, just breathing in and out in that balanced rhythmic way, while still visualizing the breath flowing in and out from the heart before we start the rest of our contemplation. Okay, so now in this uh, more calm and quiet space, first let's just remind ourselves of where we are going, where we are going this month, this year, this life. What is the direction that you're aiming towards, your vision?
and it can be can be the broad vision for your life, the energy that you want your life to be infused with. And it can be also a lot more practical about just about the goal that you've set for yourself to achieve by the end of this month, this year. Want to make, to check our alignment. Okay. So once we've done that, we have that present to our mind. Let's just have a little um, debrief, inner debrief about the week that just came by. Just having a look at what did work well or what did not work as well as we hoped. And here, feel free to either review different aspects of your life or focus on one. It's totally up to you. This is your exercise, your time for you. If you want to go broad, think about, of course, your work life, but also your personal life, your relationships with the people you love, your relationship with yourself, maybe also your health, health exercise, even your intimacy with your partner. How is that also uh, working for you? Also your leisure time, maybe some projects, causes that you support. Your spiritual life, spiritual practice. I don't know, your personal development or any aspect that are, that are important to you. And again, you can re-listen to the recording later or and pause the recording when you need more time to reflect. And ask yourself what, what's been working well that I want to maintain and enhance and what didn't work so well that I need to course correct, that I want to adjust. What is it that I want to keep? What is it that I want to let go of? What is it that I want more of? What is it that I want less of? Okay, and once you've done that, first of all, I encourage you to be as neutral as possible, not to judge anything. If it worked, if, if it mostly worked great, fantastic. We want to just keep it that way and, and even better. If it didn't work well, then it's good to, it's okay too, in the sense that you're having information, you're getting feedback about what's not working. If that is not working, then there is just a reflection that we need to course correct. And we are better know and being aware of it sooner than later. So let's be thankful for that as well. So now that we've done our little review, let's um, ask ourselves, okay, if last week was repeating itself, 
over and over into the future, would it bring me closer to my goals, my vision? Would it or would it bring me further away from it? So as if imagining last week like um, like uh, a kilometer of a path, if you were to repeat that kilometer going straight, would you actually be landing to the destination of your vision and your goal or would you be landing beside it or how far away would you be landing from if that's the case? And once you get a sense, you know, a sense for this, we're just gonna now start looking into the future in order to either enhance what's already good or starting to course correct if that wasn't the case. So in order to do that, now I'm gonna invite us to let our imagination go as wild as we can and just Imagine the perfect next week. Imagine the perfect next week. Either it's a continuation of, of the last one or else it's a transition. It's going to be a new start into a new direction that is getting us closer to our vision. Okay, so now I'm going to invite us to, to imagine the best possible scenarios for next week. Best possible scenarios, best outcomes, surprises interesting, supportive surprises, everything that our imagination is in capacity to imagine at that stage. All of the things that you can control that work according to plan and everything else that you can't control that actually somehow produces some supportive, exciting opportunities. Maybe some things that that uh, didn't seem to be working well in the past. Now you realize there was blessings in disguise and turns out, who would have thought? This is actually for the best. There might be things like that happening. So yeah, just let yourself imagining what if everything could work even better than I could possibly imagine it with that intention to be open and receptive to, to everything that is outside of your imagination things that 
the, uni the universe could respond, but you don't know yet what shape or form that could take. I'll keep yourself in these scenarios. Everything happening for the best. And how would you how would you be in that best possible week? How would you feel? How would you be? What kind of person are you? And in that imagination, Who are you? What attitudes do you have? What responses do you have? What emotions, feelings do you have? And now I'm going to actually invite you to, to allow yourself to really feel these feelings that you would have. How are you feeling right now? Thinking, well, imagining, visualizing all of this. How does it feel in your body? Where do you feel it in your body? So in, allow yourself to tune in to these feelings. Maybe you're able to give it a name. And as you're doing this, I'm now going to invite, sorry, invite you to imagine as if these feelings are also flowing in and out from your heart, through your heart with each breath. So that with each cycle of breath, they are becoming stronger and stronger. On the in-breath, bringing in that feeling into yourself, feeling it as deep into your cells as you can. as if you're filling in your own tank with it. You're giving yourself great reserves of these feelings within yourself. Every time you breathe in, and every time you breathe out, imagine or visualize as if these feelings through your heart are radiating out into the space around you. As if these feelings shoot out from your heart into the outer world. So breathe in, bring in the feelings into you and breathe out. Radiate the feelings out of you. Remember, these are feelings that, that are 
the result of you elevating your vibration to match with best possible scenarios for for the future so you are effectively broadcasting out some information into the field around you that corresponds to a higher vibration that corresponds to what you want, your vision. So you are somehow planting seeds right now. And to anchor this even more, I'm going to invite you now to imagine that every time you breathe out and you visualize these feelings shooting out from your heart, I'm going to invite you to imagine as if they're creating, opening up a portal in front of you. Yes, a portal like in sci-fi movies. A portal, a portal that opens up in time and space. And now I'm going to invite you to imagine in your mind's eyes as if you're walking through this portal. Walking through this portal, transported in time and space into the future of this week that you have, for which you have planted the seeds of of best possible outcomes. And I'm going to invite you to, for a moment, soaking in this connection that you're creating with your, with your future in a sense, with your future self. And, and trust or, ima or imagine or feel that you are effectively receiving the information from the future that that you can have access to right now through the field this information about about making your week the best possible creating this connection between between now and your goals your visions your intentions and the potentialities that are out there that are matching your intentions. And as you're, you're connecting with, uh, with the field in that way, even even if you might not necessarily feel it, just gonna invite you to relax into it and trust that on some level you are accessing information, exchanging information that will support you throughout the week to come. Okay. Remember as a 
when you listen to the recording, you can of course pause and stay as long as you wish in this space. But for now, let's just uh, take a few deep breaths as if to finish off this time together, we are really inhaling this information as deep as we can into our bodies. One. Two. And three. Okay. So now I'm going to invite you to rub your hands together. And once they're warm, place them on your eyes, on your face, on your ears, on your head, on your, the back of your head, your neck, your face, going down to your shoulders, your arms, giving yourself a little hug on the way and bringing your hands all the way down your body, touching your body to make yourself aware of the boundaries of your own body again and touching all the way down to your legs, all the way down to your feet. If you can, even touching the ground with your feet and then wiggling your toes, tapping your feet on the floor, reconnecting with the earth and in essence, bringing yourself back into the here and now, today. Now, and opening your eyes, obviously, when you're ready. Ah, and I hope you enjoyed this session. So remember, you can always come back and revisit it with the recording and allow yourself more time if you wish. And in the, in the meantime, I'm going to say goodbye and see you next week. Bye, everybody.